Okay, we're going to do a common repair in the cabinet industry especially, and that's where we have a perfectly round hole drilled in the wrong place, um, either applying a cabinet hardware or uh, something like that. And we've drilled a hole and now uh, we need to repair that hole that we've drilled. One of the things that about repairing these that can make it a little bit easier is right now we have a perfectly round hole and in nature you don't see a lot of perfectly round uh, geometric figures so what I like to do with these is I'm going to go ahead and just take a knife and cut this into more of a diamond shape and that diamond shape will be much easier to blend into the surrounding grain of the wood. So we're just going to take and cut us out a little diamond shape there. A lot of times we refer to this as dog earring, just putting a dog ear up there. Now when we fill this, it's going to blend much easier instead of being a, a perfectly round hole to deal with. Another little trick that we can do, um, if the hole does go all the way through the board, we can pack uh, some material down into the hole uh, so that we don't have to fill the entire uh, hole. In this particular one, I'm just going to go ahead and use the uh, burn-in stick to fill. Again, we're going to melt it onto the blade of the knife. And then we're going to drip it into the defect. This method keeps you from making quite a bit of a mess with the material and dragging it around all over the surface. If you'll just use the tip of that knife to place the material where you need it. I'm just going to take the tip of my knife and drag it back and forth. I've got plenty of material on there. I'm going to clean my knife blade. We're going to allow that to cool for just a second. <clears throat> We're using the flat burn-in stick on this particular one. and. I'll be able to tell that it's cooled because I'll see the sheen change. It'll go from a gloss to a flat as it cools. Now if we have any bubbles or uh, any voids in the, the burn-in, it's real easy to come back with the point of the knife and refill those. So this is already cooled. I'm going to go ahead and apply the burn-in lubricant. I want to use quite a bit of it. Uh, fairly inexpensive and it really does a great job of protecting that surrounding finish from the heat of the knife. And on this particular panel, this is an open grain uh, oak and the material can actually get down in those open pores and fill those. So this will also keep it from uh, getting in there. I always like to have a rag handy uh, to transfer the material up to. Um, now I'm just going to put the knife down uh, like an airplane coming in for a touch and go landing and apply a little bit of pressure. I'm at about a 15 to 30 degree angle with my knife. That allows the heat of the knife to be directed where we need it. Now there are a couple of voids that have shown up in there. A lot of times when you're feeling a, a very large area you'll get these little uh, air bubbles to show up um, and that's pretty normal. Uh, they're pretty easy to take care of. Uh, we're just going to let the material cool just a bit. I'm going to wipe off the filling material. Come back with the point of the knife. I'm just going to take those bubbles and touch those. And that will allow the material to heat up and flow back in. Take a little more material and add back in to take care of uh, any uh, depression that might be there. Again, that's going to cool pretty rapidly. I'll reapply the lubricant and we'll come back and level that again. Again, just light pressure. The fewer number of passes over the area, uh, the better. Um, I'm going to take it and just check that, make sure that it's level. It is. Um, I can take uh, a little bit of 600 grit sandpaper and sand it very lightly. It only takes a couple of passes. 
don't need to do a lot of sanding. If you have to sand to get the, the burn in level, um, you haven't leveled it enough with the hot knife. There's no need to spend a lot of time sanding uh, on a burn in. Get it level with the knife and then a light pass with the, the sandpaper is all you need. Clean that off. We have a nice level repair. And you'll notice that the diamond shape really blends in with the surrounding area. Now real quickly I'm going to come back with a graining pin and add a few lines. I don't know if it's showing up on the video very well, but there's a real fine little line that comes down through that. So I'm just going to extend that line into the repair, but I'm going to stop part way into the repair. I'm going to start beside it with another one and come out the repair. Do that again up here. And what that does, it kind of knits the surrounding area together. So your eye is not drawn to the to the line of the burn in. Um, you have a line that starts outside of the repair area and comes into it, stops, and starts again. Probably would want to take a clear coat and put over the top of this to protect the graining pin that we used, um, but that's uh, an acceptable repair.